Good morning. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this morning. Sometimes I get teary-eyed, which we'll do right away. Hi, baby. And uh, other times, I, it takes me a few minutes to to get the nerves away. And uh, I know some of you probably are aware of this, but speaking in the public or public speaking, speaking in front of a congregation is ahead of the fear of death. If you go look in uh, people who do public speaking, you know, even the Hollywood actors and what have you, they get very nervous and what have you. So just bear with me. Uh, in a few minutes, wherever Des went, there he is. Uh, he's going to come and he'll give you plenty of Bible this morning and a uh, really good lesson. And I thought when uh, Todd asked me to do the thought of the week and what have you, I thought, well, what can I share that you can take away this morning? And so I had the thought that I wanted to give you something practical, something uh, I'm not going to hit you with a lot of Bible verses, but... Um, my big thing is I love to witness for the Lord Jesus Christ and try and win people to Him. I also uh, do a lot of right division, trying to share uh, the word rightly divided. And so I thought if I could give you some, something that I use that maybe you can take away and help you in that endeavor. Because after getting saved, the next most important thing is really learning how to study your Bible and study it rightly dividing, dot, right, rightly divided, getting into the Word. And so I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but uh, so to break the ice, I'll share with you a story that happened a while back. I was in a, in a little church in New Summer Beach Bible Chapel, and I heard this uh, guy speaking and he was a hold-up man. Now, I don't know if you want to hold, no, that's how he referred to himself as a hold-up man. He um, was an armed, you know, did armed robberies. That's what he did for a living. And, and his lesson or his thing that spoke to me that I want to share with you this morning is him and his partner, they were in Miami, Florida, and they're gonna rob a Popeye's chicken of all places. And they went into this Popeyes, and just like you see in the movies, he had a note, and I'm going to read exactly what he had on the note here. He said, uh, the note said, this is a holdup. Put all the money in a bag and hand it to me. Quotes. And so they go into the Popeyes, and they hand the clerk, you know, uh, that's going to take the order, the note. And the guy reads the note, and he turns around and points to the menu. And he took the note and handed it over to the next person. And that note started circulating through that Popeye's restaurant. And maybe some of you have guessed why. If not, the note was in English. In Miami at that Popeyes, they didn't speak English. <laughs> and the note literally is going around, and he's sharing this. The note's going around the, the Popeyes now, they're passing it around. And it gets to an off duty police officer who can read English. Out comes the gun, and him and his partner got 25 years. He spent 18 years in prison for, uh, he should have, uh, he, he, basic elementary thing that we as Christians need to do is we need to be able to pass instructions along clearly. And I learned that from that lesson with that. I thought, you need to be able to speak to people in a way they can understand. And many times we as Christians we overwhelm our crowd. Somebody that doesn't understand right division, I don't know if you've ever seen their gla eyes glass over, but it happens a lot. So, 
how do you break that? How do you put it in words that somebody can understand? And there's a couple of things that, uh, examples that I give to people when I'm talking to them about understanding the Bible, the right parts of the Bible that you need for yourself. And I did this this morning. I went and got a cookbook out of, uh, out of our bookshelf. And that cookbook had a 1946 copyright. And the title of it is a cookbook for boys and girls. And so I open that cookbook to cakes. It says go to page 143. And I turn to 143. And there it gives me the instructions how to uh, bake a cake, how to, you know, all the things you're going to need and everything to, to make that cake. And then I turned over to page uh, 148 to the chocolate, or no, it was a golden layer cake. And then over on 150 is a chocolate cake. How do you think that cake would turn out if I take those instructions from the golden layer cake, the ingredients and instructions, and decide, I don't want to do that. I want to, you know, I'm going to make a chocolate cake, but I'm going to use some of these ingredients and instructions and, you know, put all that stuff together in a pan and make this cake. Would I get a cake? Probably, right? But it's not going to be what I wanted. I wanted a chocolate cake, and it's not going to be very tasty, and I'm not going to get the end results that I expected. And it's the same with the Bible, and, and, and hopefully you can take this and use it to share with other people on right division. In order to get the right results, the sound doctrine, you have to take the right parts of the Scripture to be able to do that. If you don't, you can never get it. And here's a little quote for you that, that I've never heard anybody else. I feel like I coined it, but maybe I, did. I didn't steal it, I can assure you this. But one of the hardest things for Christians to do, especially mature Christians, is unlearn unsound doctrine. That is one of the hardest things in the world. And I, I mean, I myself have been confronted with that, that things I've been taught all my Christian life or, you know, growing up from a little child, even before I was a Christian, and taking the scripture and go, wow, I didn't, it doesn't seem like what I was taught. And it's hard and people rebel against that sometimes because it's hard to say, you know, I was wrong about that. I, that, that's not, um, that's not what I really, you know, believe, you know, and, and to unlearn that unsound doctrine is hard. So with that, I'm going to close other than uh, just to tell you the instructions. And like I said, I wasn't going to give you a lot of scripture, but we know that Paul said this, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for instruction in righteousness. We're told in Psalms that I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. And we're all products of God, right? We, we believe we, God created man. And the only way we can ever be put together correctly and operate correctly is for God's instruction manual, the Bible, and for us to take it and the instructions in the proper order and in the proper process. All right, thank you.